Okay, Debbie, I'm, I'm gonna send you this on the other channel. I somehow got blocked. There's gotta be some new software or something on Facebook. If you said, were you on there all day, posting in groups and commenting on every, no, I really wasn't. If you said it was the nature of your comments, the political sarcasm wasn't appreciated, something. I think it was right after that, th th oh. July shootings. So I put a very sarcastic comment along the lines of, oh, pray tell, let's not take away anyone's guns, then this won't all be able to happen, and yada, yada, yada. If you said these politicos took one look at it and flagged her some kind of subversive, yeah, that's what it seems like. <laughs> if you said you remembered some old Yahoo email from the 90s, yeah. Anyway, girl, let me tell you what. I took this dog out yesterday because it was supposed to rain. And I was going to try to drop my phones off. It, you broke it. We fix it because they got broken. And if you said all of them, no, just two of them. If you said how many do you have, I'm not sure. But And this dog was effing horrible, girl. I mean, tearing my arm off. I mean, this dog could hurt somebody. Flopping all over the place terrible on the leash. I mean, the, one of the worst I've seen. If you said it's going to be quick. No, I'm not going to be quick to forget that. It's terrible. I got film of it. I, I don't even know. It started raining. I came back. I had to go to Publix. I think I don't even know. The whole day's a blur. If you said you got your garbage out to the road, though. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to rush home and get the garbage out to the road. If you said he'll be scared to go up here because of this dog. So if you said, how did he know to come over there? He's so cute. He wants you to make, you know, if you said when he was a puppy, we used to cuddle him and laugh. And Madison laughed and laughed and he wagged his little tail. That's what his name's like. He does a double tap now, watch, girl. He's so cute. Oh! Mr. Diggle, man. Oh! He does a double tap, Mr. Tickle, man. Oh! See, so he goes like this. This is what he goes. <laughs> His little feet go. They're very animated animals. If the only time the dog isn't animated is when you're training it, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> because it's going to just by nature gravitate. They need to be animated for a reason. Bang and liking doing all these things it serves a purpose. If you said the ones that didn't like to run and jump didn't have as much success catching things. Yeah. If you said the jumping had to do with catching birds, they can catch birds. I mean, if you said, I've never seen one catch a bird, I'm going to ask some of these bird dog guys. When I, were, when I did bird dogs, we put the bird's head under their wing. No, I'm going I'm to go find a video of it. It was all very bizarre. If you said you were just, I was, I mean, I was young. I didn't know. I was stupid back then. I would do anything anybody told me to do without questioning it. I was an idiot. Let me assure you, I was an idiot. If you said, when did that all change? Like five years ago. <laughs> if you said, you an idiot all that time. Yeah. Uh, but you folded the bird's head and you put it under their wing a certain way. And then, so then now it's like a potato. Now the bird is like a potato. Then you would go like this or something. You go like this. I think it was like this. I'm serious. I'm not making this stuff up. And then that would make it dizzy. And you would, we would set it under the bush. You know, we just like put it under a bush out there. All right, so I don't want it jumping on me when we're... Then that's when he does his turns. He says very worried about... He is very worried. If you said, does this dog care that he's worried? <laughs> he's getting braver and braver, though. I, I gotta run and get more traits. Hang on. If you 
means that this dog understands that that dog is uncomfortable, but it doesn't care because that's not within its... That's not within... Look how cute he is. That's, that's speaking volumes right there. If you've got him standing on this yellow thing or standing on that platform as a default with the tail up and happy like that, you're, you're doing it right. I don't know what else to tell people. I don't know how I know everything I know, but I do know it. And if, if you don't allow them to believe that they're operating of their own free will, nature is going to tell them to gravitate back towards that. If you said just like human beings, just like eventually all countries will fight to be free, their people will gather. Yes, they will. They will. If you said it'll take hundreds of years for places like North Korea, but they'll finally uproar. I don't know. There was a documentary. I got to go find it about North Korea. And it was about kind of, you know, they said they don't have TikTok there, but people have a way of bypassing and getting. I, it was, you know, it was about these young. Informed North Korean, a generation of young informed North Koreans that weren't going to go along with the. I don't know. I got to go find it. But if you said that, it was a while ago. I mean, it was probably like five years ago. All right, hang on. Let me get more treats. Okay. So, yeah. If you said we only took him out one or two times and it was so horrible that we went back to our house. I, I believe you, girl, because this was among the worst I've ever seen. And don't worry. Nobody's going to see this video. It's not going to get spread all around College Park that Kelly said their dog was the worst he's ever seen. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, if you said what are we working on, he'll go with he'll go with us so we, we, we just need to refine that a little bit and Aaron I'm gonna tag I should tag Aaron in this because you've got this dog that does the same thing that this one does and it drifts over to the right side of the handler if you said that's some sort of pet behavior that it has probably but if you just give them a chance they'll write themselves to the left if you said and just keep rewarding the left and going to the right will just become ineffective yes if you can count on them to write themselves to the left you, all you have to do is just keep going he's 
so crazy cute. I'm going to try to get him to heal or do anything. Oh. You said this other one's getting in the way. Oh, for sure. <laughs> All right, here, watch. Here's my turn. Watch. to the left. He said you didn't see him when he was on the other side. You saw him. I couldn't, I couldn't see him. Did you see how I'm turning, Aaron? I, I'm not taking a giant step away. There's a turn and then a step. There's a turn and then a step. I love how he jumps. He's one of the cutest we've ever had. And that's my kids, girl. Hey, uh, I just said, oh, Madison had a balance house for her birthday. I said, oh, that sounds like what kids like to do. He's my bestie. If you said, what's that? That's homemade cheeseburgers. <laughs> I had leftover bread, Thimble eats bread, but I just, because if I buy bread, I end up eating like two or three pieces of it, or three or four pieces. Ask my parents. I had very traumatic things about bread when I was a kid. I wouldn't even eat bread. I will now. I'm going to call my dad later and say, remember how you used to tell me that you could freeze bread and then eat it? And I said, no, 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 no. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'll never do that. I do do that now. Uh... But at a certain point, then it's freezer burn, so Thimble eats it. But it was getting too, there was too much bread. And he said, well, what kind of bread? Regular? No, it's fancy bread. <laughs> fancy bread, fancy expensive bread. So I made it to cheeseburger. is over here trying to get in because he's scared of this dog. Oh, he can't deal with being out here with it by himself. Okay. All right, let's just do a little bit more with the leash because 
I'm going to try to go back out tomorrow, but let me tell you what, girl. I mean, it was unbearable. Yeah, it was unbearable. It was, he was just that bad. I believe you because I just people tell me the same thing. So it kind of just all meshes and I, just, I tend to forget the actual details. It seems to sort of all be. So check on me. If you said, what do we want on the leash? We want that same turn with the pager. And we don't want them all shut down. He's a huge talent. Quickly go into that thing. You want to do excessive turning towards so you sit on this thing. He said he understood to back up. Yeah. Gentlemen. Just use the pager to turn them. I don't have to have all the other stuff. He said, the ass, that was just the pager. You were so cute and precious, Mr. Tickleman. All right, hang on. Okay. If you say, he's crazy cute. But let's not kid ourselves. I'm, we'll just see how, I don't know. That one time I took Marley out for public access. He was horrible too. I mean, horrible. Ugh. And then I took him back out, like the same thing two days later, and he kind of got a grip. So I don't know, girl. Give me some more insight onto what his, I know you said you never took him out. He had to have gone somewhere, though. Or did you just, did the vet come to your house and stuff? Anyway. If he said he's a little Mr. Cowardly, he's hanging by me in order to... If he said, how old is that dog? Eh, she's like nine years old. If he said, has she ever hurt anything in her life? No, never. Never. If he said, what if there was a tiny little puppy there? No, she wouldn't hurt it. She doesn't hurt anything. She's never hurt anyone or anything. There is such a thing. If he said, did you play tug and all these things? No, none of that. If he said, she's just a calm relaxed dog that doesn't think there's suddenly going to be little wars, mini wars going on at home. <laughs> the war at home. I <laughs> know. No war at home. 